we have the problem x to the fifth minus 3x squared minus 20 divided by x minus 2. I am going to use long division to do this problem, but notice something. I see the x to the fifth. Do you notice that I do not have x to the fourth or x to the third? Then I see x squared. I don't have an x to the first. And then I see minus 20. I need some placeholders here. So let's begin. So I did put in my placeholders because what is 0 times x to the fourth? It's just 0. I'm not changing the problem. These are only my placeholders. So we have a little bit of long division to do. Everything is in descending order. Let's begin by looking at the first term in the divisor and the dividend. How many times will x divide into x to the fifth? You are correct, x to the fourth. Take this and multiply it times your binomial x minus 2. So x to the fourth times x, that will be x to the fifth, and x to the fourth times a negative 2 will be a negative 2x to the fourth. Draw your line, and we are going to subtract, which basically means that we are changing the signs. x to the fifth and a negative x to the fifth, they cancel just the way we planned. 0x to the fourth and a positive 2x to the fourth, that will be 2x to the fourth and bring down your next term. And let's do it again. x will go into 2x to the fourth. A positive 2x to the third times. 2x to the third times x is 2x to the fourth. 2x to the third times a negative 2 is a negative 4x to the third. Subtract, which means I'm going to change my signs. I like to circle my new signs so I know which one to look at. 2x to the fourth and a negative 2x to the fourth cancel. 0x to the third and a positive 4x to the third will just be 4x to the third. And bring down your next term. Let's do it again. x will go into 4x cubed. That would be a positive 4x squared times. 4x squared times x will be 4x to the third. 4x squared times a negative 2. That would be negative 8x squared. Draw your line and you're going to subtract, which means basically changing the signs. The 4x cubes cancel. Negative 3x squared and a positive 8x squared will be 5x squared. Bring down that next term. And let's do it again. x will go into 5x squared. That will be a positive 5x times. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times a negative 2 is a negative 10x. Change those signs. I will have 10x and bring down my last term, which is a negative 20. x will go into 10x, a positive 10 times. And 10 times this binomial, that will be 10x minus 20. Draw your line and subtract and your remainder is 0. Our answer is x to the fourth plus 2x to the third plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 10.